Relevant Radio now presents the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass from the Chapel of the Nativity at Relevant Radio. Our Executive Director, Father Rocky. It's 12 noon on Saturday, June 20th in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The first day of summer, the longest day of the year, and the wonderful feast of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please join me as we pray the Angelus and then we'll begin our Mass. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Together let us pray. Pour forth we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning is Immaculate Mary. It's number 577 in the St. Michael hymnal. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim. On earth we your children invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. I'm sure glad you could join us for this Mass today on the Saturday, which is always dedicated to Our Lady, but especially today it's dedicated to the Immaculate Heart <clears throat> of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We celebrate this feast day on the Saturday after the second Sunday after Pentecost. So it's usually the Saturday after Corpus Christi. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the descendants of my people shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels, as the earth brings forth its plants, and in garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Our response, Soros Psalm, is my heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles and also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust, from the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Each year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover and when he was 12 years old they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him. They returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be? in my father's house. But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a moment. It doesn't take a whole lot of intelligence and it doesn't take a whole lot of virtue to be disobedient. But it takes a tremendous amount of intelligence, self-possession, wisdom, and grace to be obedient. And the child Jesus was obedient. And his parents marveled because they knew he was God. They knew his conception was miraculous. They knew his birth was miraculous. Mary and Joseph knew this. What a stunning statement. He came back to them, with them to Nazareth, and was obedient to them. What we just read is a narration of what is known as the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of our Lord in the temple. And only St. Luke recounts this event. And in the life of our Lord, from the time he was an infant and had fled with his parents to Egypt until he started uh, his ministry by the Jordan when John was baptizing, there are about 31 years of no mention of what happened. This is the only event that happened. And it was a big event. I'm sure they talked about it every year when they had a family reunion. Do you remember the time Jesus went missing in Jerusalem? And if parents have ever lost a child, and there were three of these cases during the family rosary across America over the last 100 days, the anxiety, the worry, the range of emotions, fear, and then desperation, and then anger, and, and all the temptations to point fingers at each one, and then hopelessness, and then, then mourning, and then they find him again on the third day. It's sort of a premonition of the Lord dying and being in the, 
in the tomb for three days and he rises after that. But there's a lot we can learn from here. A lot we can learn. One thing we learn is that Mary and Joseph were not what you would call helicopter parents. He was 12 years old. They respected his freedom and his good judgment. And they weren't hovering over him all the time. And parents, it's important to learn how to give your children the freedom they need to live their own life and make their own decisions. And that takes a real art of training them in what's true and good and noble. And then let them spread their wings and fly away. Because they're not your children. They are not your children. They're God's children. He created them. And He carries them. Parents make a grave mistake when they think their children are their children. It's a fundamental error. They're God's children. We're all God's children. And yet children have that duty to respect their parents and love their parents and obey their parents. And Jesus gives us this great example here. What a conversation. Son, why have you done this to us? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you with, with great anxiety. And Jesus is he's confused he says didn't you know I had to be in my father's house like wouldn't that be the first place you'd look for me and I want to encourage you in your life when you have issues and you're looking for God go to the father's house go to the Catholic Church go to the shrine go to the place where the Blessed Sacrament is reserved because Jesus is waiting for you didn't you know I had to be in my father's house we're very grateful to our Blessed Mother at Relevant Radio because through the years she's accompanied us every step of the way. I'm happy today I can wear this beautiful chasuble with the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. We've prayed the rosary and then some. We've prayed 54-day super-duper rosary novenas and through the powerful intercession of Lady we have received what we need to continue uh, moving this forward. And today on the Feast of Her Immaculate Heart we rejoice with the angels and saints in heaven and we give glory to God by honoring Our Lady for her generosity, for her service, for her great example, for her sinless, sinlessness. And now let us stand for the prayers of the faithful. Gather here together as children of our Father in heaven. Let us bring our petitions before him with confidence. We pray for the church, the spotless bride of Christ and his mystical body so that one day all Christians, Catholics, Protestants and Orthodox, may be united in the one true church that Jesus founded. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for the Bishop of your diocese, for my prelate, Fernando, and for bishops, priests, and deacons everywhere, that they may seek Christ, find Christ, love Christ, and bring the love and knowledge of Christ to everyone they meet. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for all those suffering in any way, especially for the sick, the dying, the grieving, the homeless, the unemployed, those who are near the end of life and are deprived of the sacraments. What a great suffering that is. For refugees and immigrants who are anxious about their future, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect on the part of all people who live in this country for legitimate laws and also for the energy to object and to change laws which are not in accord with God's law, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to serve the church and all souls with joy and simplicity, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For relevant radio for our listeners, our benefactors, our board of directors, and our associates that all of us working together might bring the good news and hope of Christ to ever more souls, we pray to the Lord. And for the safety of all unborn children, for the support of their mothers and fathers, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Dear Father in heaven, we believe in your power and we trust in your mercy. We ask you to hear our prayers through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of blessed Mary, the mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, Fernando, my prelate, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this bring the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you listening on the radio or watching at home, this is a good moment to pray a spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you with the spirit and fervor of the saints. Our communion antiphon is, Mary treasured all these words, reflecting on them in her heart. The body of Christ. Amen. June has been an extraordinarily rich month in terms of the liturgy. We began on May 31st with the Feast of Solemnity of Pentecost, followed one week later by Holy Trinity, followed one week later by the Feast of Corpus Christi. And just yesterday, on Friday, we had the Feast of the Sacred Heart. Today, the Immaculate Heart. 
And then this coming Friday, the 26th, we'll have a special Mass in honor of St. Jose Maria, the founder of Opus Dei. I'm a priest of Opus Dei, so it means a lot to me, and I hope you can join us. It's the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's the month of the Immaculate Heart of Jesus. It's a month when we have three of the solemnities of Jesus all in one month. It's also a month when we honor and celebrate many martyrs. St. Charles Luanga, St. Thomas More, St. Peter and St. Paul at the end of the month on June 29th. We never forget them. June 30th, all the early Roman martyrs. And I hope during these broadcasts and presentation of the Mass, whether you're watching it at home or on your smartphone or all the rest, that you've developed a greater hunger for the Eucharist and a greater knowledge. You can never exhaust the knowledge <clears throat> and the theology of the church. I do encourage you to download the relevant radio app for free and discover all the great resources there and share it with your friends. I also encourage you to get a relevant radio bumper sticker for your car if you're in a market where we have a station and we've got lots of markets where we have a station so just go to our website and requ request one let us pray having been made partakers of eternal redemption we pray O Lord that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Tomorrow in our country we celebrate Father's Day. Last month in May, we had Mother's Day. It's not too late for you to send in the name of your father if you want me to remember him at Mass tomorrow at noon, the Father's Day Mass. Just send us an email at mass at relevantradio.com and send us the name of your father. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And now we pray after Mass as we have for the since March 15th to Our Lady of Good Health. O Lady of Good Health, our merciful Father chose you to be a powerful intercessor in times of trouble and woe. As in past centuries, when you've interceded to end the contagious diseases, we implore you now to end the coronavirus, which is damaging the health of many and spreading fear in our communities. Teach us not to be afraid, to be courageous and generous in offering assistance to others and to live joyfully in the state of grace. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be sure to join us again at the same time tomorrow on the Relevant Radio app, online at relevantradio.com, and on all of our local relevant radio stations. And then maybe today say a Hail Mary, because we have an opportunity to trade an extra station for four other stations. Wouldn't that be neat? Our closing hymn is Immaculate Mary, number 577 in your hymnal. We pray you, O Mother, may God's will be done. We pray for His glory, may His kingdom come. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our Mother, the Church upon earth, and bless Holy Mary, the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria.